And so I wanted to, I saw a challenge the other day and um, it was on Graveyard Girls channel and it was called The Power of Makeup and I'd like to give it a go and uh, see, see how makeup actually uh, transforms my face. This is my completely naked natural face. I've literally just come home from work. Uh, been there since half past five this morning. So, <clears throat> never mind eh. Uh, so yeah, let's look at those bags. Ooh, look at that. There you go. Up close and personal. So right, yeah, I'm going to do this challenge. I'm going to probably do a voiceover behind it, but I'll talk just in case. No, I won't. I'll just do a voiceover. So the first product here that I'm using is Max Prep and Prime. And I'm just using this to prime my face. Really, you should moisturise um, before you put any makeup on, but clearly I didn't do that. Um, which is probably why I get really dry skin. So I'm just going to rub that in my face. Uh, I didn't really know what kind of uh, primer to go for before, but um, a lot of people recommended this to me, and I went with more of the yellow shade. Uh, I don't know if that means anything to anyone. And I just want to say as we start this, uh, I'm not a professional. Um, I don't want to hear things like, oh my god, okay. Okay, well that's MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation and I think it's in the shade NC20 or NW20, one of those. I always get mixed up. But like I say, yeah, if I'm not using a brush or whatever and I'm not putting it on right and oh my god, why has she put that much on her face? It's cool. Um, so this is just how I do my makeup. I'm using a fake beauty blender that I bought on eBay for uh, 99 pence. Um, so yeah, I'm using that just to clearly like ram it into my face and s smudge it in loads. Um, I don't actually know how how this is going to actually go because I've got to find some form of editing software now to mix these two things together. But as you can see, I've clearly missed out half of my chin and I'm just going to put some extra where I've already put the maker. So yeah, that's great. Oh my god, even more! God! Dang! So, I finished using the Beauty Blender, the fake version, and now I'm looking for um, probably a contour powder, which will be called Gingerly by MAC, and I clearly can't find it here. Oh no I'm not, I was looking for some concealer and that's MAC concealer in the shade, uh, I think it's light or medium, I don't know, I don't know, I just still don't know. <laughs> um, a lot of my makeup it looks, probably looks really dirty and that's because I leave it in a bag that has eyeliner open and I can't find the lid for the eyeliner so da da! Just putting that under my eyes to kind of get rid of some of the dark circles. Although, I'll be honest, I don't actually think it works. Um, and then I'm just going to blend that in with the same beauty blender, the fake version, that I used for the foundation. Which is, I don't know, is that grim? But that's what I'm doing. And little cheeky pout. Actually, you can tell the difference. Take that back. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to look for is uh, a little scratch there on my neck. Uh, must have been a bit itchy. Uh, it's Lemonade by Benefit. And I'm going to use this as a highlight. Uh, it's actually an eyeshadow primer. But you know, it's yellow and it highlights and it's a cream. So I'm going to just put way too much of that on my eye. And just hope for the best. Because that's how we roll when I do my makeup. Put it on. Hope for the best, and if it looks bad, then you do it better next time. So put that on the top of my cheekbone, in the corner of my lip, and on half of my chin there. And that just highlights, and also above my eyebrow, and possibly down my nose, if I, if I remember right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. So that's going down my nose, and that's highlighting the fact that, god damn, you got a big nose. Okay, so that's enough. 
put that down. The next thing that I'm going to do is get the Gingerly by MAC. This is actually a, bl a, bl a, bl a blusher, I think. However, or a bronzer, whatever you want to say. But it's like a nice orangey sort of contour tone. Uh, I don't know if it, if it suits my skin, but that's that's what the lady told me. And I'm just using a MAC, possibly blusher brush, uh, to go underneath my cheekbone and up my forehead. Uh, just to, just, you know, give myself a little bit of a woo. And then I'm going to go underneath my cheek and down the side of my ear. Uh, I don't normally put it there, but... This challenge is kind of like a oh my god she's got all out, but um, at the same time I, I don't I don't really think the end result I do go all out. Uh, what I'm using now is an eyeshadow brush to put way too much contour powder on the side of my nose. Uh, I look like currently I'm in the set of The Lion King, and I've just realised to myself in the mirror oh my god she's put too much on. Let's put some more on that cheek just to define it a bit more. So that's what I'm doing there. I uh, don't know why I've got a serious pout going on, but we'll, we'll go with that. The next thing I'm going to do is take a powder brush and just try and... Oh, that's a nice little pout. Just try and blend that out a little bit so it's not such a harsh line because, you know, it looks terrible. Um, but now it, it doesn't look as bad. I mean, I might have even blended that too much, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. It's fine. Okay, stop blending it now. And do my forehead with that stupid little pout going on, and hopefully down the side of my nose because right now that looks hilarious. There we go. And then I look at myself in the mirror, I'm sure, in a minute, and I'm like, oh my god, you've made your nose look bigger. I'm sure that's like the opposite thing to do with a contour, um, but it's okay, we, we'll, we'll work with it, it's, it's good. And then I thought to myself, it might actually just be a shadow. And the next thing that I'm going to go for is blusher, I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm just going to use my little blusher brush there and uh, blush away with the shade Maca. That's another MAC powder and this is the part where I do that little silly smile. Okay and I'm going in with the shade Sinis Sinister, is that what it is? I feel like it's not Sidecar, that's the one. This is Sidecar by Urban Decay. Uh, I didn't prime my eye eyelid, and uh, like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm finding it really hard to keep my eye looking like a normal eye here. Um, so I'm just putting that all over my eye, and the next shade that I'm going in with is Hustle from the same Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, I'm putting that on my eye, and I like the uh, the little glittery tones uh, that Sidecar gives. The next shade that I'm going in with is Sin, I think. I could be wrong. In fact, I'm probably wrong. And that's a nice blurry angle. No, that's Sin, and that's from the same Urban Decay palette. And I'm just going to put that over the sidecar and in the crease of my eye. This is where I really like mess up on eyeshadow, because I can't blend it out. No matter how hard I try, I'm really not very good at blending eyeshadow. Um, so now I'm taking a MAC pressed powder in the shade Light. This is meant to be for your face, but I find it to be a really good highlight on, on your eye, on your eyelid. Because it's not too white, plus I don't have a white shade. Um, because Naked in the Naked palette is a little bit more of a like a creamy beige unless I've absolutely ruined my palette and just decided to go for gunmetal and then put it in there because I wouldn't put it past me 
Next thing I'm going to do is take an angled shadow brush and I'm going to use the shade Dark Haw, which is like a really dark brown. And I'm going to use that to do my eyebrows. So I draw a line underneath, get that arch there. I do one on top to get the definition. I don't know what I'm talking about, I just do it like this. <laughs> uh, and then I go down the side and then I use, oh, my finger to rub that excess off. I go down the side here just to define that bit. And then what I do is just use the side of the brush and brush up and that finger again. There we go, got it that time. Use that finger again just to push it up and just kind of fill it in but not too much because then you look like you've got some creepy caterpillars on the go. So I'd say that eyeshad uh, um, eyebrow's done and the next thing that I'm going to do is take a eyebrow brush, an eyebrow brush even, and I'm going to brush out the excess so it doesn't look, oh no I'm not, I'm going to highlight that eye again and I think I've used some more of that lemonade there. Eye benefit, just to give that arch a little bit more definition, like it didn't have enough. Right, now we're going to brush my eye eyebrow, which again is something I don't normally really do. I just kind of just go with it, and if I do look like a sluggy caterpillar, then that's the look that I was going for anyway. So yeah, there's the brush that I'm using, and I'm just going to go in and brush, brush, brush out all the excess powder. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with Natural Collections Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black and this bit for me is so tense. Uh, I usually judge it by that little milk spot there on my eye. If I get just underneath that, then that flick's going to be a good one. Um, and then I kind of draw one line and then draw another one coming underneath it so it's like a little triangle. And then I normally just look straight in the mirror and look down and try and get as close to that lash line as I can but half the time I end up looking like a panda so whatever comes out first you know oh it's so tense to watch I'm getting it everywhere in all of my eyelashes okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do is possibly Grab some more eyeshadow. Yep, and I'm using a straight brush here. I don't know what they're called. Eye definer, and I'm putting that hustle underneath my eye. I don't normally do this. Um, I think it makes me look like I've got a baggy eye, which I've just realised. <laughs> so I'm gonna brush some of that out, and then I'm probably gonna go in with a lighter shade maybe sidecar again or possibly sim and just go next to that dark so I don't close my eye off completely. Going in with uh, Max um, eyeliner in the shade Feline I think and uh, this is in black obviously. Uh, if anyone has any tips for me to stop my eyeliner from running down my eye like it comes out of my off my waterline and I was just pointing there at that huge vein underneath my eye who gets a vein right there that's horrible look at it it's in a straight line as well right eyeliner's done next thing I'm gonna do is put on some mascara uh, this mascara that I've got um, I went last time I went to MAC they gave it me and it's called I think it's false lashes extreme black so I'm going to use that and put a few coats of that, that's what the brush looks like. It's kind of like a half moon sort of shape. Uh, my eyelashes are like little spider legs for some reason at the minute. I mean, I do get my eyelash, uh, my mascara off at night as best as I can. But I don't know, I'm not a massive fan of wearing it. I find that, I know this sounds really stupid, but I feel like it makes my eyelashes ache. Um, but obviously if you wear eyeshadow, you can't really not put mascara on, else it kind of looks like you've got 
extreme dandruff in your eyelashes. Which is always a nice look, obviously. If, if that's what you're going for, anyway. And the next thing I'm going to do is take Rimmel. Uh, it's a lipstick uh, called Starry Eyes. And it's a dupe of a mask that I couldn't get my hands on for some reason. Um, it might be Dark Side. Max Dark Side. Um, I couldn't find it. And every time I went to go and buy it, it was sold out. So I thought, you know what? I'll save myself a tenner. And, you know, buy Starry Eyes. So this is the finished look. I'm no good at putting lipstick on either. So there we go. I mean, there's not too much of a difference apart from the fact that my skin doesn't look so pale. And that's the end of the video. I've got lipstick all over my teeth. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Um, I just wanted to say as well, um, just while the video is, I'm just going to let it burn. I'm um, sorry I haven't made a pink parcel video, it's just that I had a new bank card and I've only just received an email to tell me that they can't take the funds out of my bank and until they take the funds out of my bank they can't send me a new parcel. So what I'm going to do is next time I get that parcel I'll make a video and if I get two at once then we'll just review them both at the same time. Uh, thanks for watching my video, hope you enjoyed it and I really hope it wasn't too long because that would suck and everyone's probably left by now. So if you're here till the end, thanks a lot for watching, love you loads, thanks for subscribing and I'll see you next time.